My name is Suzanne Moturi. I'm a lawyer by profession. At Safaricom, I'm a government relations manager. I was born in Machakos district. Um, at the time, my parents were both public health officers. And so um, the, my sisters and I, we are three girls, were born in different towns, depending on where my parents' jobs were located. We had moved to Nairobi, where I schooled until my class seven, when I went to uh, Kirinyaga Kutus to do my primary school. As a government relations manager at Safaricom, my key role um, largely entails being the liaison person um, between the company and of course uh, the staff while they're doing their jobs. Any entity that deems itself government and uh, that has some kind of relationship uh, with Safaricom, it's our work uh, to ensure that uh, uh, tasks are carried out smoothly, um, to ensure that there's no interruption to the business. The interesting part is actually negotiating and convincing them um, to give Safaricom what it requires to carry out its business. Just basically reasoning and, and, uh, and doing the kind of calculations that ensure that um, uh, these entities are not put at a loss and neither is Safaricom. Um, that gives me a lot of satisfaction. Being a mom uh, of two, um, sometimes I do get a bit exhausted and I want to, or I need to run away a little bit. And so once in a while, I just drive off uh, by myself to whichever place I feel like going and, um, you know, eat what I want, drink what I, what I want. I love that time and I, I, it's one of the things that I love, I love to do. I do not want to completely lack purpose or I do not want my purpose in this life to be like uh, purely uh, commercial oriented. I do not want to die before I've actually done something um, significant that could help uh, uh, people uh, in need. I'm very introverted and also very shy and uh, quite the coward. Uh, when it comes to <laughs> some things such as uh, swimming, I'm nervous uh, during flights. So yeah, I, it's something I'm, I'm working on. It's something I'm really trying to deal with. But yeah, I, I think I'm a bit cowardly and it's not a very nice thing. <laughs> I'm really inspired by people who achieve a lot. Um, uh, set really high targets um, for themselves. Um, they don't doubt themselves, they don't listen to that uh, inner critic. They've got the discipline that is required to attain those targets. Um, I really love that and I feel like if everybody w behaved that way, the world would literally be a different, a different place. The one which I've applied the most to myself, as simple as it is, is Maya Angelou when she said, nothing can dim the light from within. Because life tends to, you know, really strangle you sometimes, um, stress you up, um, but you're the one who decides whether or not you're going, that's what you're going to give off or not. Mm -hmm.